Hi, everyone. Some of you might be fans of David Copperfield or Harry Houdini. These illusionists are famous all over the world, but only a small number of people understand how their tricks work. Wow. <laughs> Today, we will talk about the most amazing tricks and try to reveal the secrets behind them. Keep in mind that when you learn the secrets of the magicians, their tricks might not seem as amazing anymore. But on the other hand, you will have the opportunity to recreate some of them. Let's get it on. Dangerous Sword Every year, thousands of people want to try their luck at the Britain's Got Talent show. Each of the participants is incredibly talented. It's hard to deny that, but there is one guy who really won the hearts of the audience. The young illusionist James Moore, who reached the semi-final, won the audience not only with a pleasant smile, but also with his miraculous tricks. As soon as he appeared on stage, he showed a couple of tricks, but when a long sword appeared before the judges, everyone held their breath. Two masked assistants raised the magician above the tip and let go. It seems that James is lying on the tip of the sword, and after a few moments, the sword pierces his body. <laughs> Judges, viewers, and TV hosts are scared beyond belief, but still cannot take their eyes off of him. Assistants reappear on the scene and help Moore stand up. He is safe and sound and gets a unanimous yes from the judges. So how did he manage not to get hurt while performing such a risky trick? Of course, this is not a real sword, but a fake one. As soon as the magician gets on the tip, it folds inward, creating a flat surface. In addition, his costume is also full of secrets. In fact, on the back of the illusionist, there is a solid lining with a special pocket, which gets attached to the sword. The rest depends on the physical prowess of the magician. He has to maintain balance and strain the whole body so that the audience doesn't notice anything suspicious. When the blade impales James, the sword folds inside, and the illusionist takes out a duplicate of the tip from the secret pocket in one swift movement. After this, he needs to maintain balance, and this is not so simple in front of thousands of people. Although the trick does not seem complicated, we strongly urge you not to try to repeat it at home. Remember, James Moore is a professional magician who has clearly spent more than one day rehearsing his show. Card Tricks This is yet another talent show, this time in the USA. One of America's Got Talent participants surprised the audience with a series of incredible card tricks. Eric Jones slowly approaches the referees and asks one of them to sign a card. Then he takes out a hammer and hits his hand, and the signed card disappears in an instant. To impress the judges, Eric risks his reputation and smashes the red button of another judge with a hammer in order to get the card that disappeared earlier. Also, keep your eyes on the hammer as the card completely vanished. Could it be? This is my card! The trick seems unrealistic, and it's hard for an average person to figure out how Jones did it. To begin with, you should know that the clothes of the illusionist play a special role in card tricks. As soon as the TV host signs the card, the magician folds it in front of the cameras and hides a piece of paper in a secret pocket, hitting his arm with the hammer. But this is such a quick moment that all five judges fail to notice it. Then Jones smashes the red button to reveal the card inside. But in fact, it is a duplicate, folded in the same way as a signed card. With the same quick movement, the magician changes cards in his pocket, and the judge sees the card where he wrote his name. Disappearing from the box it seems that the best way towards success for gifted illusionists is to gain fame on a TV show. A couple of years ago, a team of magicians shocked the audience with an incredible performance during the casting of Israel's Got Talent. The little boy turns into an adult and gets locked in a box. We see Tomer Dudai's hand sticking out of it, but then the assistants push the walls of the box until there's not a single centimeter left. Homer was in front of us just a minute ago, and now he stands behind the judges. How is this possible? Is this real magic? Well, no. This is a very talented and inventive illusionist. Pay attention to the fact that we have two structures here. Aside from the box, we can also see a small staircase. It seems that an adult can easily fit inside. As soon as the magician crawls into the box, he immediately sinks lower and gets into the stairs, which is carried behind the curtains. Another man stays in the box and shows his hands. While Tomer hurries to the judges, the man replaces him stands in his secret compartment, waves his hands, and then gets inside the false bottom of the box. Thanks to the thick walls of the box, he hides in plain sight, but none of the people in the audience sees him. You need to be very flexible not to give out your position, and remain in an uncomfortable position for the entire show. Magic Blackboard 
Turns out that you can become an illusionist even at a young age. When the magician Issy Simpson was only eight years old, she got into the casting of a talent show. The girl gave a fascinating performance and left the adult audience astounded. The magician approached the judges and took three of her favorite books out of a box she had brought with her. Stepping aside, the little Hermione Granger asked one of the jury members to pick up her cardboard box, but he couldn't move it, even with the help of his colleague. To me, to you. To me, to you. It turns out that the box was actually bought in a store for 300 pounds specifically for Issy's magic trick. It was equipped with a switch, thanks to which the box could literally stick to any smooth surface and become impossible to lift. The judges would have probably been able to tear the box off the table's surface with more force, but they would not have been able to move it. <laughs> Next, the young magician asked another judge to open a book and read any word aloud. Then, Issy went to a blackboard, removed the red cloth covering it, and turned it around to the audience. Everyone could read the word from the book that had been said earlier on. It seemed unreal. Did the girl write the word with chalk using telekinesis? But like in the previous story, the trick worked thanks to modern technologies. Surprisingly enough, Issy's board was similar to the electronic device Lynx blackboard, available for purchase for £3,000. It's an ordinary school blackboard with a mechanical system for writing with chalk. It's connected to another device on which the magician's assistant writes the word, and it is wirelessly displayed onto the blackboard. All you need is for the magician to buy the assistant a few seconds. A similar trick was pulled off by the mentalist Dan White when he came to Jimmy Fallon's Tonight Show. A Missing iPhone Matt Franco from the US decided to play a trick on Melanie Brown, one of the show's judges, and straight up burned her phone. It all started innocently enough. The jury members chose cards from the deck, took photos with them on the singer's phone, but the magician was so excited that he dropped the phone into a glass of water. It's clear from the singer's face that she's not happy about this. The guy tried to fix his mistake and dry Melanie's phone with a hairdryer after putting it in a black bag. It started to give off smoke and then disappeared altogether. Chili, believe it or not, gone. The singer's colleague Heidi Klum called on the missing phone and the audience immediately got excited. Everyone heard the classic iPhone ringtone. Melanie, along with the magician, hurried to the seats, where she found her phone inside the upholstery, which Franco cut open with a knife. Oh my god! <laughs> What's even more amazing is that the phone's gallery had photos of cards taken a couple of minutes before that. It might be difficult to figure out this magic trick, but we'll try. First of all, Matt put a broken and wet iPhone in Melanie's empty glass from the very start. He just switched the two phones and distracted the audience from the empty cup and the dry phone. Secondly, the bag with the wet phone actually had pieces of dry ice lying in it, which, under the influence of hot air from the hair dryer, began to melt, creating the smoke effect. It's worth noting that the bag was just a piece of cloth folded in half and the phone inside did not disappear, just hung in the fold. Thirdly, Matt obviously had an assistant calling another phone at the same time as Heidi Klum. The magician cut the seat open with a knife and offered the phone's owner to get it herself. Oh, would you look at that? It was inside all this time. Actually, we'd been tricked again. Melanie Brown was holding a fake iPhone. The magician just sent the previously taken photos to it. It might seem easy, but how long did it take for Matt to work out the trick so that everything went smoothly from the first take in front of so many people? Snowman from an album any holiday special of a talent show is always filled with magic and makes everyone feel like they are in a fairy tale. Matt Franco, the winner of the ninth season of the America's Got Talent show, was able to surprise the jury once again with a mind-blowing trick right before Christmas. The young illusionist showed the audience an album cut into three parts with different snowmen drawn on each page. Matt let the three jury members choose a page from each part so that he could make a snowman based on a drawing. As soon as he finished the job, a miniature snowman appeared in front of the judges, looking exactly like the one in the album. Then, the magician asked the judges and each audience member to find the Christmas cards under their tables or seats. What surprised everyone watching the performance that night was that all the postcards showed the same snowman that was standing on the table in front of them. It's hard to imagine how Franco did it, but we might have an idea. <laughs>
The thing is, the album had different pages, long and shortened ones. Flipping through the album, Matt showed the jury different drawings, which made them believe that they really chose different options. But they could only choose the shorter ones, because the magician held down the longer ones. The trick is that all the short pages show the same snowman, and each judge could only choose that one. If you're wondering how this works, you can do a similar trick at home with a regular notepad. The Power of Twins the idea of becoming an illusionist and performing in front of an audience seems much more real when you have a twin brother or sister. So, the Les French twins Tony and Jordan showed the audience of America's Got Talent a first-class show, only with the help of some improvised tools and their agile hands. At first, one of the twins talked to the judges, but after a couple of seconds, he seemed to split up, and his twin brother appeared on the stage. There was a large screen broadcasting a video with the girl behind them. She was trying on a red dress, then found herself on the beach, and then suddenly came out of the screen right on the stage. But the following twist was even more exciting. The girl, like one of the brothers, also splits in two, and a twin sister appears next to her. It's clear that the guys carefully rehearsed the choreography and shot the video before the show, but how can we explain the transition of the same objects from reality to video? We tried to figure out the secrets behind Tony and Jordan's performance. When they turn two red ribbons into a dress for the girl, we can see the magicians quickly hiding their hands behind their backs. We think they might have quickly put the ribbons in their pockets, but how did they pass the balloon to the girl. It's easy enough to explain. One of the brothers showed the balloon to the audience and quickly popped it in his hand, and we could only catch a glimpse of the yellow remains of the balloon lying on the floor. But the main mystery is still not revealed. How did the girl from the video appear on the scene and later split in two? Most likely throughout the performance, the girls were sitting at the table on the right because the guy took out the blanket from it, and it was that blanket that covered the twins in the center of the stage. When you learn the magician's secrets, it seems that they're not so difficult, but it's the easiest tricks that require the most practice.